So, welcome back guys to our Let's Play series. And after we successfully enchanted our diamond pickaxe last time, um, this time we will try to get some villagers going so we can trade with them and maybe get mending. So the first thing I'm gonna do is clear out my inventory and probably make another iron pickaxe. And then we... Uh, no, I am going to make, um, what's it called again, a lectern for the librarians, so, no, for the villagers, so we can get a librarian. Um, for that we need leather, and for that we should, yeah, we don't have any wheat and it doesn't seem like anything has grown. So, I am just gonna kill three cows, because you need one bookshelf for the lectern. Okay, we got free leather, that's great. Oh, we even got five, okay. While we're at it, we could just kill another one, because in the end... Um, we would at need at least two librarians. One to whom we can sell paper, and another one... Um, where we are constantly refreshing the offers until we get... Um, the offer we want, which is mending. So... I think we might need to get more wood. Um, let's see. Yeah, two bookshelves. And then, oh no, you can make it with slabs. Okay, so we got two lecterns. And then another thing we need to do is for us to be able to make a villager who is a librarian. First of all, we need a villager who doesn't have a job yet. Um, and these guys are not um, useful because they are nitwits, because they have these green um, robes and you can't use them. You need someone who has like a brown um, coat, at least in this biome. So let me just grab some um, like crops so we can breed them. And also we need um, these like beds so that we can um, they only breed if they have available beds, so we need to make beds. And for that we need wood, so... Yeah, and for that... Okay, now the X is enough, so... Okay, wait, I can't collect this. Okay, stupid. Um, like that. And I'm just going to... Um, chop down a few trees, um, so that we can get wood, so that we can... Make beds. And also, um... This time I'm really trying to get this episode to be not like 40 minutes or something, so I hope I can cut it down and I think I could get this to work. I'll just stop this time so I don't have this huge thing to work with. So let's get, simply get back in the village. Um, we got quite a lot of wood for what we need actually. Um, I'm just going to make seven beds, and then we will need to place them down somewhere where these villagers can access them, so I'm just going to do it like this. And then we will give them the crops so they would breed. Um, get the torches in the way. I hear a witch. Okay, I hope it's just under the village and not um, like where we are because that would be bad. Okay, so we got a lot of beds now. And now, I don't know if these nitwits can breed, but we got two farmers and those can definitely breed, so that's a good thing. So I'm just gonna give them half a stack of carrots and you half a stack of carrots. And, yeah, some more. And maybe they would breed now. I don't know, probably there are some other things that need... Like, it needs probably to be the right time of day and stuff, but... Maybe they would just breed, and if not... Then... Yeah, I don't know. I think, or I guess it's just a waiting game now. Um, yeah, maybe bread? I don't know, is bread something? Okay, no, wait, we need the bread to eat, so we can't. Or we could give it and just make the steaks for us. Um, so, you get bread. 
And maybe these two will breed now. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna leave them be. And then I will put the meat in the furnace. And do we have coal? No, we don't, but I remember there being coal down here, so we are going to get that. Um, yeah, we don't need that much. Maybe like a stack or something. Yeah, we could get a bit more so we can make new torches. Um, yeah, so let's just grab that. And then, yeah, make some torches, put the stuff in the oven or furnace. Yeah, it's called a furnace in Minecraft. Um, so it will um, be cooked. And then... Yeah, I don't know, maybe we could just pl place down the workstations as well, so maybe they have more of a um, incentive to start breeding, I don't know. Or maybe we just have to wait for the night, so like, um, yeah, they have time to see that there are beds available. Okay, wait, they do have beds in their houses, right? So, yeah, I don't know if what I'm doing is useful, but... Oh, wait, they 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 bred already. Okay, so that's great. We got two little guys. I'm just gonna go sleep here as well. Um, so we need to wait for them to grow up. So we can get one librarian to whom we can sell paper to get emerald. And then we can... What did my mouse do? Um, we can sell, uh, no, buy a um, mending book from the other one eventually when we have unlocked the mending offer. And that's the plan for today's episode. And then I'm probably going to... Yeah, I don't know, we're going in the nether. I don't know when, but to get more XP. And maybe I'm even going to disenchant our pickaxe again and re-enchant it because we only got efficiency 4 and Whilst efficiency 4 is the highest efficiency you can get in a table, um, we c I would rather have gotten fortune 3 as well, because you can get that, and that would mean that out of every diamond ore we mine, we would get on average 2.2 .2 diamonds and not just one, and that would be a, um, a real good um, progress thing, because yeah, more diamonds is always better, so... Maybe we'll do that. So, um, I'm just going to eat. Where is it? Did, oh, I gave it to them. Okay, so we need to take out the steaks out of the furnace. Um, let's quickly do that. And eat them. And I don't know how long a villager takes to grow up. I think it's probably around 20 minutes as well. Um, I hope they just do that. Um, so... I guess I'm just gonna be doing stuff around the village and when they have grown up I'll cut back in. Okay, so a quick update. Um, I just made this farm. Um, it's for wheat so we can A have more wheat to breed our cows and two, we have something to make bread out of for the villagers, so they can breed. Um, we got another baby, so I think we got three now. Um, and I'm just gonna hope that one of them grows up soon, so we can get started with our first librarian. And get started on earning emeralds. Um, yeah, I still don't know how long these guys take to grow up, but... I think it's not that long, so yeah, I'm just gonna see what I can do and then get back once something interesting has happened. Okay, so another quick update. Um, I um, made the wall taller at the places where I didn't trust it. Um, that was especially near these big trees behind there. And I, 
Yeah, what else did I do? Okay, not much because I nearly ran out of materials and then I had to use wood and granite and all the other stuff. That doesn't look particularly good. And one of the villagers actually grew up. That's this one here. Um, and also he became a librarian right away. So now we can take our sugarcane, make it to paper and sell it to him. So this will be the guy um, who is going to be our money machine, I'm gonna call him, because we will earn emeralds with him and then eventually when we get a second librarian, which is when one of the other guys grows up, um, we can constantly place and destroy the lectern until um, we get one that sells mending, but for that we need to have the emeralds because it would be really stupid if we like did all the thing and then got mending and then didn't have the emeralds and then the we would try to go back and find emeralds and by then the offer would have been reset. So that's what I'm trying to prevent by getting emeralds now. So we got actually quite a lot of emeralds. Um, 22 is like almost enough because if we get mending for a price that's a lot higher than 22 or 23 actually then I'm not gonna take it and just do the table thing again until we get it for an acceptable price. Um, yeah, so it seems like we got another child as well because there are still still three children and one of them grew up, so that's a good thing. Um, yeah, what else is there to talk about? The farmers are actually doing their job for once. Um, and yeah, we need to keep track that this is the workstation that belongs to him. Um, I th think I'm just gonna make a sign because I don't want to destroy the wrong workstation and then get it all messed up. Um, yeah, I don't know if the game is made in a way that prevents that. But just to be safe, I'm going to label it. Okay, so um, where would I put it? Here. Paper guy, so we know this is the guy to whom we sell our paper. Or maybe when we have enough cows we could actually sell him books, because three books take three leather and nine paper and give us one emerald, and for that we would need 23 paper. So that's a way we could get more for our money, us basically, and also if we trade two different offers, then... Um, yeah, like... You can you can only trade that often until you need to wait for him to work at his station again and reset and if we do it with different offers then we can do more trades before we need to wait for him to reset. So I really want to breed the cows but I don't have any um, breeding material yet so I guess we need to wait on this farm to, to produce more of that. Um, yeah. What else can I say? Yeah, basically we need to wait for one of these guys to grow up now. And yeah, we could actually grab the emeralds and the books, so... And we could make another iron axe, so for that we would need to smell through the iron. Um, yeah, let's not use coal for that, let's use two wood and then... After it's through we could make an iron axe and then... Eventually the tiresome stuff begins where we have to do all the table um, like place it and destroy and over and over thing. And I hope the audio quality is better in this episode now. Um, I changed up a few of the settings, maybe that helped. And if not I apologize and then eventually I am at the limit of what I can do with these settings. So yeah, I don't know. Um, okay, so it seems like here they didn't really do a good job because there's still a lot of stuff that I can harvest that doesn't, um, like, that is not harvested by the villager guys. Um, like this guy over here, he could harvest all of these carrots, can, can't he? They are ripe, or are they? Yeah, they are. Okay, so why don't you... I don't care, so get that. And then... 
Yeah, we go into 40 in we that's not a large amount, but I'm just gonna use it for the cars. Okay. And um, get in there for the XP and hope we don't die of entity cramming. Okay. And then I guess we could harvest the sugarcane in the meantime while we are waiting for the villagers to grow up and also if we harvest it we have something more we could sell the paper guys so that's something I think. And we actually gained a new subscriber yesterday or okay when you will see this it's two days ago. Um so now we have three and that's good because like there was a week where we didn't get any subscribers but now it's going up a bit so I'm happy and maybe this means our channel will be like back on track now after the break I did around Christmas. So I'm just gonna collect all the stuff that I didn't get because it's yeah like if we run around and destroy the sugarcane you don't get everything because it falls away in almost every direction and then yeah you just have to go back and collect it and then we can see how much we actually got and remember it only grew one stage so if we let it we would have let it grow fully we would have gotten way more than these four and a half stacks so i'm just going to yeah i'm just going to make paper out of them right away Okay, and we can take those and make one more set of paper. And then... Yeah, what could we do? We could look if one of them... Yeah, okay, he grew up. That's great. So, I... Did I take the books? No, I didn't. Okay, so I'm going to take the books now. So that if we get mending, um, we can just directly buy it. And the emeralds too, of course. And then... Um, go back to the librarian once more so we can take the rest of our paper and make it to cash. Okay, so we can actually do quite a lot of trades it seems like. So we got 36, that's a really good amount and I think he should evolve. Yeah, he did, okay. Thorns won for two emeralds, but that's not too bad. Okay, so now this is where the magic happens. Um, I'll just start with it and then cut back in once we are done. Okay, wait, stop, we need to make the X. Um, let's quickly go back and make an X. Um, I really hope one iron X is enough because I had it in other survival worlds where like I would go through one total X, so that means 250 um, like placements and in all of these 250 offers I didn't get a single mending offer and that's bad. Okay, so so now it would be great if the guy, I don't know where he is actually, did he? He didn't just become a mason. Oh god, no. Okay, well, um, I guess you are not a mason anymore and you will become a librarian. Come to the table and he became a librarian. Okay, wait. So we're just gonna go sleep and then, yeah, if we can sleep, and then I'll just show you the start of the procedure and then do it until we get mending or until I have to stop because of something else. Is there actually. Okay, I'm gonna kick you out. I'm sorry, but. I need to sleep. Okay, wait, I have another bed, so I'm just gonna place my bed down here. Um, so. Yeah, so where is our librarian? No, not you, but you. So what do you sell? Sharpness 4? Okay, I'm sorry, Sharpness 4 is not that bad, but. So what's the smartest way to do this? Like that, can we? Okay, no, we can't do the X and the offense. So. Then I'm just simply like that so no mending so then we take the table and place it again and he becomes a librarian again and basically we are going to have to do that until we get mending so 
Yeah. I'm just gonna cut this st stuff out until we get it. Okay, so, um, quick update, we got mending for 31 emeralds and I don't know if I should take this or not. I mean, it only took us around 42 tries if we look at the durability of our eggs. And I mean, 31 is quite a lot, but we got it, so maybe I'm just going to buy it and... I mean, it didn't take us that long to get all the emeralds, and if we get a, a few more paper grass and maybe expensive sugarcane farm, I think this should be no problem. So, I'm just gonna buy it. Okay, great. And now it's locked in, so even if we leave and come back, it won't be blocked. So, we got mending, so that's great. Um, The next thing I wanted to do is getting a... Oh god, what's it called again? Let's look in the crafting table. Like the thing where you can disenchant stuff. Um, the grindstone, I guess it was called. So how do we make that? Uh, okay, we don't have it unlocked yet. Um, I think you need like a smooth stone slab or something. Or just a normal clean stone slab, so... Let's quickly get some stone and then we can put it through the furnace and then oh yeah, we need to wait for three of them so we can make slabs and then we can make a grindstone and then the plan is that I'm probably going to disenchant our pickaxe because just efficiency is not really worth it and we have the XP to try it again, so that's what I'm gonna do. So while the stuff is melting through, I'm just going to harvest the farm. So maybe we can breed the cows again and get a bit more XP by that and obviously get more cows by that. So we can just harvest all the ripe ones and yeah there's a chicken following us but I'm not gonna breed him because yeah, I don't want to have an exploding population of chicken in this village. So let's quickly take all the wheat, put it in there, and breed them and we got to level 33, that's good because now if one enchantment fails we can do another one because it takes away three levels and yeah. So let's just... Oh, I took them already. I, I wondered why I got only one stone in there. So now we should be able to get the grindstone. I don't know why not. Um, um that kind of... Um, um, okay, wait. Let me quickly google it and then I'll be back. Okay, yeah, you need one slab, two sticks and two wood, so... I don't see a reason why this table wouldn't show it to us. Um, yeah, like that. Okay, um... Okay, now it's in there, great. So... I will quickly go back to our base where we can enchant and then yeah I'll see you guys there and then we can do um, the enchanting and hopefully get a better pickaxe this time. Okay so here we are um, let's quickly take some lapis and then I am going to take the grindstone Place it down, disenchant our pickaxe, and we even got some levels back, but not much. Uh, fortune 2, okay, so these offers aren't the greatest, and I'm just gonna enchant this first. Fortune 3, okay, I'm actually gonna take this. Okay, no, now look, this was what I would, and um, this is what I would have wanted on a diamond pickaxe, because you can get unbreaking 3, fortune, and efficiency on one thing, so that's something, and now let's look if we get the same for this. Efficiency for unbreaking. Um, 
yeah, since we have fortune on this, it's not that bad. Um, and I'm gonna take this now. I'm yeah. I need to make an anvil actually. Okay, no. First, I need to get to sleep. But then I'll make an anvil. And then we can put mending on there. So let's sleep. Okay, we can't yet. So I'm gonna eat something and can we sleep? Oh god. Okay. I guess I'm just going to make an anvil. So we need three blocks of iron. And then does it give? Okay, no, it doesn't. So put them here and then like that and you get an anvil boom and now we can sleep and yeah the saying is to always put mending on last because then it takes less xp but i think we can just put mending on there now and afterwards put an efficiency four again so we get five we get that and fortune so let's just put that on there and now we got a rather good pickaxe the rest of the iron aside and then I'm yeah I don't know I'm just going to return to the village um see you guys there I guess yeah okay okay so here we are um I am just going to yeah I'm gonna harvest this and then Maybe we can breed some more animals and with the XP we are getting we could maybe heal up our pickaxe because that's the great thing of mending. It makes it so that when you get XP and you are holding the thing that has mending, um, it, its durability goes up so we can use this pickaxe forever now if we don't lose it by dying or something. Or accidentally uh, use it until it's gone because that would be bad. So I'm just gonna put it in my offhand and then I'm going to breed all the animals and hope. Yeah. Okay, so now if you look at the durability, it's full again and this is the great thing. You can just use it forever. So we used up all our wheat. Um, our pickaxe is full and. Yeah, is there anything I wanted to do in this episode no there is not so I'm just gonna try and take a thumbnail photo screenshot thingy here like I have the two villagers mm. okay so that was it um, I'll see you guys in the next episode mm -hmm.